वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर टू फ्रॉम पेपर वन ग्रेविटेशन ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स इज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन एनी टू बॉडीज एवरी मोशन इन द यूनिवर्स इज गवर्नड बाय ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल मोशन ऑफ द अर्थ इज गवर्नड बाय ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स बिटवीन द अर्थ and the sun motion of the moon is governed by gravitational force between the earth and the moon motion of all artificial satellites revolving round the earth is governed by gravitational force of the earth on the satellites thus every motion is governed by gravitational force magnitude of this gravitational force is given by newton's law of gravity it states the force of attraction between any two bodies is directly proportional to product of their masses and inversely proportional to square of the distance between them thus if two bodies of masses m1 and m2 are at distance r from each other then force of attraction f between them is directly proportional to m1 m2 and inversely proportional to r square hence f is given as g m1 m2 upon r square g is called universal constant its value remains constant throughout the universe irrespective of the type of the bodies their shapes their masses distance between the bodies and the medium between them its value is 6.67 into 10 raised to minus 11 newton meter square per kg square the dimensions of universal constant g are m raised to minus 1 l cube and t raised to minus 2 the gravitational force is always mutual means both the bodies exert gravitational force on each other it is a long distant force and it is always attractive in nature there are two limitations for newton's law of gravity the first is newton's law of gravity is applicable only when the bodies are in the gravitational field of each other and second newton's law of gravity is applicable only when the distance between the bodies is much much larger than sizes of the bodies the acceleration due to the gravitational force of a planet is known as acceleration due to gravity of that planet it is given by g small g is equal to gm upon r square where g is the universal constant m is mass of the planet and r is the distance of the body from the center of the planet on the surface of the earth m is mass of the earth and capital r is radius of the earth acceleration due to gravity is not constant it varies as per three factors the variations are like this as per height the acceleration due to gravity changes as height of the body from the surface of the earth increases the acceleration due to gravity decreases hence acceleration due to gravity at height h above the surface of the earth is given as gh is equal to gm upon r plus h whole square 
where r is the radius of the earth and h is the height of the body above the surface of the earth if this height is much much less than radius of the earth or if this height is negligible as compared to the radius of the earth then gh can be calculated as g into bracket 1 minus 2h upon r the acceleration due to gravity changes as per the depth of the body below the surface of the earth if d is the depth of the body below the surface of the earth then acceleration due to gravity at depth d is given as gd is equal to g into bracket 1 minus d upon r where d is the depth of the body from the surface of the earth thus at the center of the earth where d is equal to r the acceleration due to gravity is zero hence it is maximum on the surface of the earth and zero at the center of the earth means it goes on decreasing as we go from the surface of the earth to the center of the earth as the acceleration due to gravity goes on decreasing the weight of the body also goes on decreasing the acceleration due to gravity changes as per the latitude also latitude is the angle lambda made by the position vector of the body on the surface of the earth with the horizontal due to the rotation of the earth the bodies on the surface of the earth are also pulled away from the center of the earth the acceleration due to gravity acts along the radius of the earth towards the center hence every body has a resultant acceleration acting on it which is the difference between the acceleration due to gravity which is called real acceleration and the acceleration due to the centrifugal force hence the resultant acceleration gr is given as g minus omega square r cos square lambda where omega is the angular velocity of the rotation of the earth r is the radius of the earth and lambda is the latitude hence for maximum value of cos square lambda the resultant acceleration is minimum maximum value of cos square lambda is on the equator on the equator lambda is zero so cos square lambda is one and gr is given as g minus omega square r on the poles lambda is 90 degrees so cos square lambda is zero and gr is equal to g means on the poles the acceleration due to gravity is the real acceleration so the acceleration due to gravity changes as per the height of the body above the surface of the earth as per depth t below the surface of the earth and as per the position or the latitude of the body on the surface of the earth.